So let us start off with the story of Manji, Dashrat Manji, the mountain man. Dashrat Manji was a poor landless laborer in the village of Gehlur in Bihar state in India. He lived as happily as a man in abject poverty possibly could with his wife and children. One day his wife slipped on the treacherous mountain terrain and suffered very serious injuries. She finally died due to lack of timely medical attention. The reason was the nearest hospital was around 70 kilometers away because one had to go around the hills in order to reach the city. A very upset, disturbed Manji took a vow that night that he would make a road through the mountain, reduce the distance from the city, from the village to the city, so that his people, other people in the village, would have easy access to medical facilities. Dashrat Manji ultimately did make a path, did make a road. He carved a path 360 feet long and 30 feet wide at a height of 25 feet. He did it single-handedly, alone, using only a hammer and a chisel. He would say break one stone at a time, one day, one stone, one day, and so on. And <clears throat> by carving this road, reduced the travel distance from 55 kilometers to 15 kilometers. But it took him 22 long, arduous years of work. He did attain some fame in his lifetime. And he died in 2007 when he was given a state funeral. But it was only four years after his death that a proper solid road was constructed over the path that he had built. The story of Manji is undoubtedly one which shows us the grit, the determination of man about what man can achieve when he sets his mind to it. However difficult, impossible it seems, a task, it could probably be achieved. In fact, he was usually laughed at and derided and called a madman, a lunatic for the first part of his life when he had started making the book. It is a different matter that people slowly began to help him out, gave him food as he continued his journey. <clears throat> but look at this, students. What I am trying to say here is that this one man with no education, no skills, no tools, no resources, no planning, no foresight, only a determination, right? Only a steely resolve to make the road, manage to make this road, but, but at what cost? At, spread over a period of 22 years. Now think about it students, if, if the project of construction of a road through the mountain was given to any organization or an institution, would an institution or an organization would have resources at its disposal? They would have money, they would have time, they would have people, they would have materials. Yes or no? Would it take 22 years? It would take less than 2 years, if not less than 1. So, organizations, organizations 
use the tools of planning, budgeting and forecasting to efficiently achieve their objectives. What is <coughs> planning? Planning is the direction. What was, what did Maji want to do? Maji wanted to reduce the distance from his village to the, to the city. He wanted to go from the village to the city. That was his direction. That was his direction. And how did he propose to do this? By building a road. By building a road. So any organization has an objective and to plans for an objective and to achieve this objective, they have to allocate resources. <clears throat> how much of the path, how much of the road will be completed in what time? How many people, how much money has to be given? <clears throat> yes or no? And forecasting. Think if an organization was making a road, would they not consider the weather conditions? Would they not have equipment to see whether there is going to be a landslide or not? And so many such other things so that if there are barriers, how do they overcome these barriers? Go beyond whatever they expect. Can we, can we estimate? Can we, can we predict the future? No. But we can make maybe a fair intelligent estimate and progress accordingly. So planning, budgeting and forecasting help improve efficiency, productivity in order to become superiorly competitive, in order to put in better performance. <clears throat>